From Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast. Uh, and we I've got our movie review for this week. John McGuire is not with us. He's back next week. But uh, Leah Murphy and Joanna Hill are here because they went to see Defiance, which is the new Daniel Craig movie. Uh, before we talk about that, though, uh, good morning, Leah. Good, good morning, morning, Joe. Good How morning. Are uh, we don't really say good morning, but we're just doing the on-air radio. Oh, sorry, good morning thing. So the other films, uh, Bride Wars, right, Anne Hathaway, Kate Hudson, um, Brideshead revisited a movie version of that. Frost Nixon, the story about uh, Richard Nixon and the David Frost interview, which apparently changed journalistic kind of approaches to things. Slumdog Millionaire, which is getting fantastic reviews. Danny Boyle, uh, that's the guy in India, in uh, Mumbai, of all places, which was very much in the news recently, and uh, where he's on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and they have to, the gong goes at the end, and then he goes off, but he gets arrested by the police, and they say, how does a guy from a slum know all the answers to all these questions? He's just going for the one million and he gets beaten up and all that so it's, it seems like it's getting great reviews but anyway we're talking about Defiance today yes. so uh, Joe, what's Defiance about? Um, well Defiance is set in the summer of 1941 um, when Hitler's army is making its way through Europe and three Jewish, Jewish brothers decide that now's the time to fight back and they head off into the forest to escape well to basically save their own lives and they build a village like settlement and loads of um, refugees come. That's a true story, isn't yes, it? Yes, based on. Okay, and did you like it? Um, yes, overall, I wasn't mad on the first half. Just kind of, a, I don't know, a bit sloppy and maybe yeah. a bit cliched in places, but um, it did improve definitely. So. Okay, so you liked it, and uh, what about outcome? I mean, like, without giving too much away, uh, is it? <laughs> I mean, no, you no. Know, is there an outcome? Is there? Is, is it a complete uh, film? Or left kind of wondering no you're kind of left with um, you know sort of writing over the screen saying what yeah. happened next so right, okay. it doesn't really kind of end as such sometimes you're watching a film at home on a DVD and the next minute it just stops and the credits come up and you say what the yeah, hell happened? Well, this, you yeah. know. Anyway, anyway, so let's define. So, Leah, you actually got to meet Daniel Craig. Before we hear that, this is him playing Tuvia, yeah, Tuvia, and yes. he talks to the what? Tuvia. Tuvia. Okay, this is this. He's talking to the group here. What I am saying is, we are not thieves or murderers. We may be hunted like animals, but but we will not become animals. And if we should die trying to live, then at least we die like human beings. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's, go that's not off. bad. No, that's not bad. <laughs> so um, you, there's other people in it as well. Who you also got to meet. Yeah, so, Liev yeah. Schreiber and yeah. Jamie Bell. Okay, they were very very nice as well. Liev plays his brother Zeus. Okay. Uh, and I asked him uh, what it was like getting in shape for the movie, and did it help him? For he's he's going to be in Wolverine, the new oh. one with Hugh Jackman. Okay. And I asked him if that helped him. Uh, Hugh Jackman gave me a call and told me that I better get my butt in the gym, and I listened. Because he's ever getting very big, isn't he? I mean, the, guy, the, the guy's a mountain now. He's yeah. just a mountain of muscle. It's really, it, I, it, it was terrible because I, one, you know, I in the film, I, I beat the crap out of him, so I had, I had to look pretty imposing. And I, I was soon when I saw Hugh, I was just like, oh Christ! But I got into it, ate an entire population of chickens, and. Uh, Did you feel any competition then when you were with Hugh Jackman in one movie, Daniel Craig, and you know, these guys who are kind of famous for? Well, at the end of the day, Daniel's pretty short. And, okay. and Hugh is best known for musical theatre, so I, I didn't really have a problem. So you could, felt like you could take him. I felt I could whoop him. Is Daniel small, is he? <laughs> um, well, he's about the same height as me, and I'm 5'11". Yeah. No, yeah. you're taller than 5'11". No, you? I'm not. No, I'm 5'11". Okay. Uh, and uh, Jamie Bell, he was the guy, he was in uh, that ballet dancing movie. Billy Elliot. Yeah, Billy yeah that's where yeah, shot fame okay. first. You've seen, of course, he's been in loads of films since then, but uh, I think it's a question you probably would get asked a lot, but I asked him if his actual dancing skills helped at all in this what film. What a great question. <laughs> yes, definitely. And I think Ed Zwick would be the first to acknowledge that. But I think if you talk to any dancer, that's one thing that they, we all have in common is, is an immense focus and discipline. Um, uh, dancing is uh, immensely useful on so many different levels in terms of physicality that you can bring to characters. Or, um, just, yeah, just, just a level of, of attention to detail and focus, I think, is... is uh, I mean, I was also looking for a dancing sequence in the movie, too, you know, maybe with Daniel, but that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> um, so, uh, that's Jamie Bell right now. And uh, that was Russian, Daniel was speaking, was it? Well, that's his accent, but he does, in the film, he does actually speak, speak Russian, Russian as well. He? Yeah, okay. So, uh, he's talking about it here to you. This, this yeah, is what it was, long piece, isn't it? Well, it's what it was like on set as well because it is set in the forests and it's mm. very, the way they filmed in Lithuania. Um, so were there, they were there for months on end and they did have to learn a bit of Russian as well. It, it was tough, it, but we had a lot of fun. I mean, I know it kind of probably doesn't seem uh, like that would, the way it would be on a movie like this, but, you know, there was, we all took, you know, I mean, the movie 
didn't cost a fair amount of money, but it was it, for this movie. It was very cheap, and, uh, and and everybody took a big cut, pay you know, pay cut, and so everybody was there for for the love of doing it. And um, it, you know, the, the, the forest is extraordinary. It's it's true wilderness. I mean, you you, you kind of forget sometimes. You know, sort of like we've got some beautiful rolling hills in in England and, and Scotland's got the, the, the highlands, and uh, not until you get into those sort of there's places where actually you know that the environment could kill you yeah. <laughs> that you sort of start to appreciate actually what these people must have gone through but but it you know we we spent all our time on set i mean that was really and not not because really because ed wanted us to it just it felt the right thing to do we sat around and we you know uh the whole film is shot on natural light with natural light there's no occasionally there'll be a lamp but it's really rare that we we had, only when we really had to and that meant that we had to uh, chase the light around. So it, it gave the whole thing an immediacy. Um, and what was it like then for you to speak Russian in the film? Very difficult. Well, you, you didn't actually learn it. Were you just going, just lying by? I can't, no, it, I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I learned a tiny, tiny amount, but I had to learn it phonetically because it was just impossible. It's such a, I mean, it's a, for me, learning languages is hard enough. So Russians are a really tough one. He was quite, quite engaged with you, really, wasn't there, wasn't he? he? Yeah. 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 Got the chemistry gone, there. talked all day, really. <laughs> but we've only got four and a half minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Joe, uh, what would you... You're, like, you're a real movie buff, aren't you? You watch a lot of films. Well, you know, I wouldn't like, say buff, yeah. but... Um, what, like, what rating like, would you give us? Well, mm, I think it kind of redeems itself. Yeah. I would say six. Like, the performances... Out of, what, out of ten. Oh, ten, that's okay. Like, the performances are amazing, yeah. and the accents are great, yeah. but the first half is a bit too... For me, like, not the yeah. story. The story is really interesting, but just maybe the way it was told was a bit sort of Robin Hood-esque. Right. But um, six. Six out of ten. And what about you, Leah? Um, I think I'll give it eight. Cause eight. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> because I got to go and meet Daniel Craig. Because I met the guys, you know. They're uh, my okay. friends now. Well, actually, um, Daniel Craig is talking about his Irish roots after the break and also reacting to breakfast show listeners' descriptions of him. So mm -hmm. we'll do that after. Thanks very much. Almost time for us to head off, but uh, Leah and Joe are still with us and we're talking about Defiance, the new movie starring Daniel Craig. And uh, um, he, he's got Irish roots, has he, Daniel Craig? Well, it's a little well. bit tenuous. Well. I did ask him because I thought, you know, since we've claimed Barack Obama and we had Pierce Brosnan, so oh, yeah. just thought in case that he had some too. Okay. We're the last James Bond. Did you have any Irish blood in you? <laughs> Not as him? much as Pierce. I've got a lot of Guinness inside me at times, but um, I think there is somewhere, somewhere deep down, there's some some, some Irish roots, but I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't lay claim to it. No. I get more and more Irish the more Guinness I drink. That's all I can say. All right, the old standard one there. And, <laughs> and also then we asked people to give their reaction to, or give one word to describe Daniel Craig the other day on the radio, yeah? Yeah, so I read them out to him. Did see you? What you think. Did you read them all out? A few of them, not all of them. <laughs> okay, right. I just have a couple here and see what you think. Rich, smouldering, scrum umptious, delicious and moody yet gorgeous. What do you think of that? I'll, I'll buy that. That's very nice. That summed you up perfectly. <laughs> I don't know about Scrum did the inches, just, that, that's the one I like most. <laughs> yeah, you did leave a few out, all right. Yeah. <laughs> he was totally flirting with me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Did you get his number? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, very good. Okay, listen. Thanks very much for doing that. And uh, from Today FM Ireland, this is the Ian Dempsey Breakfast Show podcast.